You're watching Fox 5 News at 5. Well, it's going bad from bad to worse for Sony exec Amy Pascal and other top executives there. Liz Dollam is in the newsroom with more on the flood of damaging emails that are still leaking out these days, Liz. It's true. Good evening to you, Derry. From employees' social security numbers and salaries to movies, it's all been leaked in the Sony emails. The entertainment company is holding a meeting with employees in California today to discuss the security breach, while the hacker group threatens a, quote, Christmas gift of more leaked data. George Clooney, Leonardo DiCaprio, Angelina Jolie are just some of the stars mentioned in Sony's leaked emails. <laughs> Two weeks into the security breach, a group called Guardians of Peace has claimed responsibility for hacking into the company's servers, giving us an inside look at some of Hollywood's biggest secrets. You must be joking. In the latest leak, an early version of the newest James Bond movie, Spectre, was stolen just as filming was set to start. Dr. Harris Straitner, clinical associate professor of psychiatry at Mount Sinai School of Medicine, says fans love to watch the famous fall. America loves these reality shows. They want to catch people off guard. They want to see the humanness. No, 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 no. Recent reports claim email show Sony executives bashing Leonardo DiCaprio for pulling out of the Steve Jobs film, calling the actor despicable. I want to get into the war. Another shows executives supporting George Clooney after bad reviews of The Monuments Men. Some of them are just like us, and they say things just like us, and they have feelings, and they have insecurities. The hackers are promising to release more emails, or what they call, quote, a Christmas gift to come. Lance Ulanoff, editor-at-large of Mashable, says someone is out to shame the company. The really hard thing for Sony is that it doesn't stop. So these guys keep releasing new data. You know, they, they turn around and they think, okay, it's over, we're locked down, we've seen the last of it, and then they say, hey, here's some more data. Sony says the hackers are also trying to prevent the studio from releasing the interview starring James Franco and Seth Rogen. The comedy features an assassination plot of North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un. The interview is set to release Christmas Day. North Korea has denied any involvement in the hack. Tech experts tell me it's likely that this was some sort of social engineering attack. An employee probably got an email that looked like it was from a bank or a site that required some personal information. They filled that out, and the ha hackers were able to suck out gigabytes worth of information from the corporate network. The FBI is now investigating. Stephen Derry, back over Pretty wow. scary. This How dumb I feel. I know, I know. It's, it's scary, though. They're not going to be the last ones to suffer from that. All right, well.